In verse of the Quran, Allah says, لا يستأخرون ساعة ولا يستقدمون that Allah will not bring you forth a moment forward or back. والله العظيم سوتي. Let me first tell you the scenario of what happened. And let me then explain to you of how Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us of what will happen after you die. People come to us. Everybody. People, when somebody dies in our home, our mother, our father, our children, just at the moment as I speak to you, a young brother whose son, six-year-old son, was my student. Subhanallah, Thursday night, a couple of months ago, a couple of years ago, Thursday night, his son became very ill, six years old, chirpy young lad, comes from school, everything's fine, he complains that he's got a headache, mum puts him to bed, wakes him up after a short while, asks him to eat something, he eats a bit of bread, and he goes to sleep, and lo and behold, within three days, he passes away. Three days, I with his own hands, washed his body and buried him. Three days, who knew? A six-year-old ma'asum child will go just like this. But Allah trusts his servant. That exactly the same family. Allah Akbar, listen to this. How Allah tests people. Me and you might not get tested, brothers and sisters. But the test will come. And if you are not ready for the test, you will crumble away. You will crumble away. The world will fall away from your feet if your iman is not strong. That same family who three, four years ago lost their young boy. Today, as I speak to you and you listen to the reminder, their four-year-old daughter is exactly the same state. Imagine the pain the mother and the father must be going through. And Abu Ajib in Sundar al Hospital, they are in the same room and the same ward where their son passed away three years ago. They make dua, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make their difficulty easy for them. May not put it upon any parent who has a small child to go through this pain. 